Hello viewers and welcome to sunny California, Monterey to be precise, for a Sea Otter Classic 2024 Day 2. Yesterday, show you road bikes, today, gravel bikes. So let's dive in and find some of the coolest bikes on show this year. So I'm on the Fox stand and I found a Giant Revolt X suspension forked gravel bike. I reviewed this about a year ago. This one looks pretty cool, got some very snazzy parts on it. Uh, look at the forks, look at the chain ring, really cool looking bike. So the bike's rocking a Fox 32 custom painted gold fork to match the Kashima dropper seat post on this bike. Full Fox race face eastern parts on this bike it looks very cool carbon fiber cranks carbon fiber wheels shimano grx 12 speed one bike group set a very cool looking bike that i like a lot what do you think hit or miss let me know but leave me a comment down below so there aren't many bikes like this in the gravel category that are designed around a suspension fork and it kind of surprised that giant such a big company came out with a suspension modified adjusted gravel bike but hopefully we'll see some more over the next few months and years. Hi uh, I'm Dave and I'm from Sage Titanium Bicycles and we're here at Sea Otter 2024 showing off some uh, pretty awesome new bikes that we have and some updates to our current models. Uh, right now we're looking at our Storm King uh, gravel race bike um, the uh, finish on this bike is a custom anodized finish. Um, the Storm King now features our new, what we call aggressive geometry. Uh, the geometry is designed for 700 by 50 tire clearance, but also to ensure that there is zero toe overlap. So for this, we've actually extended the top tubes of the bikes and pulled the stems back uh, as a result. By doing this, this pushes out the front end and gives you the toe clearance. What this also does though, is the extended wheelbase that we now have actually gives you a, um, a more stable ride when you get into loose sand or just general rough gravel and that sort of thing because of the longer wheelbase. But the shorter stem actually has a tighter turning radius than does a longer stem. So the bike is actually able to navigate and maneuver around tight corners much more easily than a traditional length stem on a gravel bike kind of thing. The other cool things that we have going on here are we have our new 3D printed chainstay yoke. This allows us to run different size uh, tires with maximum amount of clearance as well as chain ring combos without affecting the chain line of the bike. Uh, and then we also have our new 3D printed dropouts. These are our first generation ones over here, uh, but we have some second gen ones I'll get to show you on the other bike as well. All of our dropouts are universal derailleur hanger, UDH compatible, so that's the first thing. Um, but now with, these, with this new design that we have, they're actually SRAM transmission specific. So when SRAM supposedly eventually comes out with a one by group that may or may not be transmission compatible, then the bike is set up for it kind of thing. So we're kind of excited about that. And then our Storm King GP bike here, this is for really just a really aggressive gravel racing. The, it's designed specifically for suspension forks. So RockShox Rudy or the Fox Taper Cast. You can also run a dropper post in this bike. You can run a dropper post in the other bike, but this one, it's kind of the ultimate setup. It's just, I've become such a huge fan of, of suspension forks after racing on them for a number of years at this point, about two years or so, just from the simple fact that it just changes it changes the ride. It, it smooths out the gravel that I'm fresher and faster at the end of the race than if I didn't have the, uh, the fork on, as opposed to getting beat up with a rigid fork. So super cool in that regard. And the finish on this bike is Cerakote. Uh, so we, uh, we do Cerakote as one of our main finishes that we offer. Um, impact resistant, heat resistant, uh, rock strikes. Uh, you know, there's no there's no chipping as you would with a, uh, a regular wet paint finish. Um, in this particular case, the, the Cerakote actually bonds with the titanium at a substrate level. So at a molecular level, the Cerakote actually bonds. So it actually creates a better adhesion for the finish, which makes it stronger. 
Uh, it's used in military equipment and that sort of stuff. So I figure if it's good enough for a jet fighter, it's probably good enough for a Sage. So. Now, gravel bikes have been moving ever closer to mountain bikes over the last few years, and some brands were definitely having a bit of fun with this at Sea Otter Classic. This is another, air quotes, new bike for us. We brought back the P29, our classic cross-country hardtail, designed around a 100 mil travel fork. Uh, of course, we have it shown as a true cross-country bike, flat bars, dropper post, all that stuff. But I wanted to have a little fun with this as this is kind of my signature build, if you want to call it that. So I put our uh, Beacon gravel bar on here. So really short, sh uh, short, big flare bar. And it's just a fun, fast, rowdy gravel bike. So anything cross country could do, but also with the benefits of having all the hand positions for a gravel bike. Um, Still use a 27.2 seat post, so if you want to run it rigid. But like I said, there's internal routing for a dropper. Uh, it's updated for boost spacing. And the tire clearance is 2.3, depending on rim and tire manufacturer. And like the name says, it's 29er only. Fun fact, uh, the fork is Kate Courtney's old fork. Wow, okay. <laughs> I got it secondhand from a friend and he goes, oh, this is a Kate Courtney's fork. I was like, all right. Hopefully it makes me as fast as her. But the thing that I did that's fun is I took my double shifter and I made it the lockout for my um, fork here. So. That's neat. Cool, huh? Very clever. Yeah. Right, just a quick break from all the shiny bikes to tell you about CAMS, who have kindly sponsored today's video. These are the guys that are cool if you have an accident at riding a bike and get knocked off. Now clearly nobody plans to have an accident at riding, but sometimes, unfortunately, it does happen. And when it does, well, it's sensible to make sure you have good cover in place. And I love the fact that CAMs are actually cyclists themselves and know and appreciate how important our bikes are to us. So they aim to get you back on the road as quickly as possible. And they do this by arranging an upfront bike replacement from your local bike shop to the valley of your broken bike. That sounds pretty amazing, right? They also put you in touch with specialist cycling solicitors to recover any losses and deal with compensation for injuries. And that helps you to manage what can be quite a stressful thing to go through. So let the professional take care of it all whilst you ride your replacement bike. So if you want to find out more or make a claim, there's a link down below in the description. They also offer a free initial consultation as well, so it really is worth giving them a call. Right, back to the shiny bikes. So the Route CRD, just like our Vermouth CRD, carries a lot of that pure race characteristics. You know, full integrated cockpit, um, using our Moots Mod Series stem and handlebar, um, paired with a Chris King headset. And so all the cable integration kind of goes through and exits the frame right out by the brake calipers. We have a double butted front triangle, um, Moots fork, T47 bottom bracket. Our goal here was really to build a stiff power input zone on the bike. So the bottom bracket, the chain stays, the dropouts really are efficient and can transfer power well while still remaining that the top tube, the seat stay kit, the seat tube flexibility and pliability allows for a supple ride characteristic without diminishing you know, the performance of the bike. So the Route CRD comes in seven sizes. Um, it does have UDH dropouts. So it'll be you know, here for mullet builds um, with T-type -type derailleur or with, as seen, with uh, all the gravel group sets that are on the market today. So our last bike that we have here at the show with us today is the Route ESC. Uh, ESC is the escape, it's just like the escape button on your keyboard. You know, it's about this is the bike that's not gonna hold you back. It's gonna take you down any path, any bridle way, any trail, any road that you'll put in front of you. So this is the eventual gravel bike. You could set it up, bike packing gear, you can ride it with your friends on the weekend for a gravel loop or you can kind of connect some trails through your neighborhoods to get out and about. So we built this one with um, 
a 38 front tooth chain ring, all boost spacing with a mountain bike rear end with a 1050 cassette. Um, he's got drop, drop levers with the access pairing. You know, you get a really nice seamless system there. But then you also have all the provisions to add racks, add bags, add bike packing gear. Um, so you can take it on and off, make it very modular. But this is kind of, you know, do it all, go big, um, and make sure that you can get home. So the Route ESC. Ciao a tutti, my name is Giacomo. Here we have this uh, Italian beauty, well equipped with a new Eckhart GT and the new Zonda GT. So the big news about uh, the Eckhart GT are first of all in the ergo powers where the shape is way much more ergonomic. You can really fit uh, all the hands that are available. We always have uh, the Campagnolo braking performances with the trusted modulation, the progressive feeling, where you can really find the sweet spot when it's time to brake, uh, especially uh, when you ride uh, off-road. These brakes, of course, they are super important. Uh, all, a lot of Campagnolo patents. You see all the junction here from the disc rotor and the carrier itself is where the magic happens because in there, uh, there is the, that semi-floating system which helps to absorb all the heating when it comes, when it's time to brake hard and to hit hard on the brakes, especially on the descent. What is new about this new group set, of course, is the gearing because we have a way wider relation co compared to the previous generation. On the front crank, crank car, you can choose between the th 36, 38, 40, 42 and 44 tooth chain rings. Whilst on the back, you can see here installed the 1048 cassette, which is going to be the biggest that you're going to find on the Campagnolo range. Uh, but it's going to be available also with the 1044, the 942 and the 936 uh, cassettes. So also a wide range of selection from road racing, road endurance and also gravel bikepacking. Uh, the rear derailleur, you will find the clutch here just underneath the winged logo from the famous winged logo from Kempi. With this bike it's going to be matched, uh, here it's matched with the new Zonda GT. These are our all-round uh, wheel sets with the inner width of 23 millimeter. You can easily host the 32, 35 millimeter rides if you want to go on an endurance Strade Bianche kind of ride but you can also put on the 40, 42 millimeter, 45 millimeter tires to go on a more graveler rides. Uh, can you give us a sense of how popular Eckhart is for you? It's been a huge uh, success internally in Campagnolo. Uh, Eckhart is a very big thing for us and we are happy that uh, consumers are enjoying it. If you love gravel bikes, but you're ready to make the leap to something a bit more capable, then how about a short travel XC mountain bike? Like this, the brand new Pinarello Dogma XC, as ridden and raced by none other than Tom Pickcock. Hi, it's Federico, British Chief Marketing Officer of Pinarello, uh, to introduce our brand new Dogma XC full suspension mountain bike. This bike has been already you know, quite visible on racing because Tom Pitcock and Pauline Ferrand Prevost has been racing on it for a year already. We got already three world champion titles and several World Cup wins with them. This bike has been developed in close cooperation with the team Ineos and especially Tom Pitcock. When he signed with the team, he pushed us, uh, being the partner of them for a while, to develop a mountain bike for him uh, with the main goal to win the Olympic Games in Paris this, this summer. So we've been working with him very intensively uh, to achieve this bike, which we believe to be you know, the fastest cross-country Olympic uh, track bike in the market at the moment. Uh, Tom had very clear questions about it, so he asked us to develop a bike which was extremely stiff laterally because he's pushing very big gears. So we have been creating this new shape of uh, bottom bracket uh, box with this additional p um, link point between the seat tube and the down tube. This add a pretty much um, stiff uh, and a very reactive solution when you're pushing hard on the pedals. Uh, the second point was to try to make the bike extremely reactive and fast. And for that reason, we had to shorten up a lot the rear triangle. And we designed these two parts, as we call it split rear triangle, which as you can see, uh, it's made out of two pieces without a linking bridge between, uh, between the stays. Uh, the stiffness has been then achieved thanks to a horse link, which is in this big 
uh, whole areas. The host link, uh, you know, uh, which is actually a potent solution for a mountain bike career travel suspension, uh, is linked between press in between and get the rigidity. But the elimination of the bridge allowed us to make the chain stays very short. Therefore, the bike is super reactive. Uh, also, we can use um, uh, 2.4 uh, inches tires, which on a such a short uh, stays, it's pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, the bike then is very agile, very responsive and very stiff, which was what Tom wanted. We also designed a kinematic uh, solutions here for the suspension uh, with a direct system with um, flex stays um, and a very you know, simple, very efficient kinematic designed really to transfer the most of the power down to the ground and also have a very efficient suspension system for the technical trails. Uh, this, uh, this solution is also movable, so the bike comes with 90 mm rear travel but by adjusting the position of this um, connection point and replacing the shocks, you can go to a 100 millimeter. That was also another requirement to get the bike extremely versatile, depending on the track. Uh, I think another point quite interesting is the cockpit. We've been designing a full integrated, full carbon, one piece cockpit uh, with the goal to be extremely rigid laterally, to drive the bike very efficiently. But it has also some play on the external to get some, some comfort, let's say, while riding on the more technical trails. Again, the result is one of the lightest bike in the industry and now with this setup is about 10.4 kilograms, uh, but it's by far the stiffest and most reactive. Again, it's a bike designed with the best rider uh, in the moment in the, in the industry and it's designed really to be the fastest bike on the, on, the, yeah, on the World Cups, let's say. Light, fast, super stiff and extremely easy to drive and to handle. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys. This is an interesting bike. Looks like it's a titanium frame. Never heard of this brand before. Nice looking, cool karma fork with three bolts, a cargo, a mullet setup, a SRAM Eagle Axis, nice clean frame. Look how smooth the welds are. So, a pretty cool selection of bikes. Let me know which one you rate the most by leaving a comment down below. And make sure to check out the best road bikes by watching the video just there on the screen. And of course, if you enjoy content or see more like this on a regular basis, hit that subscribe button down below. But I'm off for a cold beer. I'll see you again very soon.